During the 11th century, a religious sect surfaced in Europe, supposedly by way of the Byzantine Empire. The way they got to Europe is not as important as what they brought with them. Many of them weavers by trade, yet it was their religious beliefs that brought all the controversy. These people were Gnostics. They believed dualistically in two gods. The first god they believed to be the owner of the physical world, named Rex Mundi, translated in Latin as the king of the world. Cathars believed that all physical possessions were evil and that the only way to salvation was to rid yourself of all worldly possessions. In practice, this was liberating. The second god, the one that the Cathars worshipped, was the god of love and the god of peace. All that was pure. The Catholics hated the Cathars for this belief. The Cathars did not believe in a hierarchy, nor did they believe in priesthoods. They were just considered devout perfects or perfectas. They were the believers that practiced all Cathar laws. They took a vow of celibacy. They vowed not to eat meat. And they vowed to maintain other typical laws of man and commandments. Now the Cathars were supposedly reading scriptures from John the Baptist and from Mary Magdalene, who they believed was the wife of Jesus and his apostle. Of course, this created a lot of controversy with the Catholics who were fighting for dominance. A crusade was launched, and many of the Cathars were killed and burned at the stake. Some of them did escape, but we don't know how many. We do know that on March 16th, 1244, in Monsegur, 205 Cathars were burned. How this is linked to the French Canadians is, well, a bit of a mystery. 